So we're here at uh, Nokia at uh, CS 2012, and this is a new phone. It is. This is the all-new Nokia Lumia 900. This is our first 4G LTE product, so it's really fast and it's really awesome. So here you have different colors? We do. So there's a black and a cyan color. The cyan really pops. The black's a little more conservative, but still it's a beautiful phone. So what is the screen? The screen is a 4.3 inch AMOLED and what we call a clear black display. And by clear black, what we're, we mean is that a lot of times, especially AMOLED displays, can be hard to read outside. Yes. The clear black uses a, basically a filter that allows you to more easily read what's going on even outdoors. So is it a Samsung screen or you, know, you don't say which type of screen we, it is? Really the vendors, I'm, you know, I, yeah. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure who the vendor is, but it is an AMOLED device and it's really crisp and clear and it's huge. So how has the platform evolved since some of the, the first one that you came out with Windows Phone? So this is our third Windows Phone device. Yeah. We, have, we announced back a couple months ago the Nokia Lumia 710 which actually we're going to start uh, selling tomorrow at T-Mobile here in the U.S., yep. 49 bucks. So that's a really great value. Can we compare it to that? Of course. So where is that one? Right behind you. This is the Nokia Lumia 710. Really, it's still a very beautiful device. Yeah. It has most everything that you'd expect. It still has the same 1.4 gigahertz processor. It's got a clear black display, although it is an LCD clear black display. Can we sure, of course. So you can see this one's got a bigger screen. But again, this is sort of a little bit of a different audience. The Nokia Lumia 710 is great for someone just getting into smartphones, especially that you know, wants that really awesome value. All right, and the second one you... We also announced the Nokia Lumia 800. This was yeah. announced at Nokia World. Uh, this is a more, this is a product, actually you'll notice it's a little more similar in design to the Nokia Lumia 900. Whereas the Nokia Lumia 900 is a little bit larger, Nokia Lumia 800 is really great for someone who wants the high style, but maybe a more compact size. So 900, uh, 900, 900, 800, 800. what's the yeah. difference in price? So it, it's, it's hard to tell because in different markets it's just so, yeah, it's so different. However, on the Nokia Lumia 900 at this point, we haven't announced pricing. We'll do that a little bit closer to availability, which will be in the coming months. So how soon is the coming months? Like Coming months. Couple months or <laughs> coming months? Coming months. So it's, it's hard to say exactly how many. I just It's going to be over the next coming months. So this was a big announcement. At this the was a big announcement. You bet. So what is Nokia adding to Windows Phone? Are there some features there? There are. So some of the things that you're going to have on here, and I think some of these may be on here, um, are you know a couple of things. We're going to, we have something called App Highlights. And, okay, it looks like this one is, well, there's App Highlights there. App Highlights is a Nokia uh, application that highlights the newest, coolest applications that you can get for your phone out of the Windows Marketplace. Yeah. Um, there's also preloaded an ESPN app, which is uh, unique to eight, to, uh, to Nokia. And with, that, with this ESPN app, well, the difference there is, there is an ESPN app that is available for Windows Phone devices. This is an exclusive version that takes to the next level that lets you do things like pin your favorite teams to the home page, just more in-depth content than a standard application. Right. And the third one that's preloaded from, from Nokia is Tango. And Tango is a video chat application. Does it work now? It or? does not, no. And right now everything on here is still a little it's still a little it's early. This is prototype software, so everything's not how about the first one? You, you Same thing. They're all Nothing's sort of. Gonna it, it, if it does, it'll be. It's not quite ready for demo at this point, unfortunately. It's there. So how? how but it's super thin and not too it's heavy. It's pretty thin. So what we have here, it's an, it's 11 millimeters. So it's a really nice, compact design. So it's actually our thinnest Lumia device of all the ones that I showed you today. Uh, right. Another thing that I think is also very cool. We talk about differentiation from Nokia. We also have some exclusive applications you can get for Lumia devices. My favorite being Nokia Drive. And Nokia Drive is the only free turn-by-turn -turn application for Windows Phone. So it's a great value for anybody buying a Lumia device. All right. Are there, is there uh, an MHL output with a HDMI? Or? There's not. So what you have is there's not a video output. We do have some demos on the, on the, yeah. uh, on the booth, but that's just a special build. But one of the things that it does have, of course, it does have a front-facing camera for yeah. video chat, so that's a unique feature. Another thing I can't let you not see is this camera. So this is a 8 megapixel camera, Carl Zeiss Optics, a big 2 point, uh, f2.2 aperture, 
And what's just really great about it is that it just it. Oh, one thing that's really cool about it, it has what you it has a native 16:9 uh, aspect ratio. So with that aspect ratio, what you end up with is instead of the um, applications, instead of the images being at a 16:9 being cropped from a 4.3. The idea is most camera phones are native with a 4.3 aspect ratio. On this device, it's at native 16.9. So when you're doing a widescreen picture, you're using all the, all the pixels that the device can capture. Full sensor. Cool. Full sensor. All right, where's the camera mode? Camera? Uh, camera would be, if I do this, it's gonna bring the camera up, and there you go. So, so it's a pretty high quality camera? It is. The optics are very high quality. Uh, better, brings in a lot of... Final? This is still prototype, so everything on here you're not necessarily seeing the actual final device. So this is a full dual core CPU, right? No, it is not. Actually, all of our Nokia Lumia devices are single core processors. The difference being our the low Nokia Lumia 710 and 800 both use a single uh, single chip in the processor. This uses what's called a fusion chipset because it's LTE, so it's an application processor and a modem uh, chip that handles LTE and other and other wireless activities. Yeah. End of the day, though, they're both 1.4 gigahertz, and because the Windows Phone platform is so light, it just flies through it. So it's very cool because you get all the speed, but since you're using a single core, you get better battery life. So it's really a dual win. So it's going to last for a while. You're going to get, you're, it says an 1830 milliamp battery. So big battery, efficient operating system, single core processor, all comes together to give you a, a really a good full day of use. Have you announced the, the CPU? Is it Qualcomm? It's or? Qualcomm. Yeah, so all of our, all these devices are Qualcomm. They're all Snapdragon. Uh, this again, those have a single chipset for the 710, the 800. This uses what they call that fusion chipset. The application processor is basically the same, but there's a separate chip that handles the wireless. Uh, so this is uh, AT and T. How about Europe, uh, Asia, elsewhere? Has right it been now, announced? yeah, right now we've only announced this exclusively for AT and T in the U.S. 